scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast, reviewing the DVD release of The Sensorites. Out there is a planet we call the Sensphere. The creatures, the Sensorites, somehow they have some control over our brains. None of you can ever leave the fence sphere. What do they want with us? I don't know. It is useless to resist. Surrounded by enemies. That's right. They're near us now. You're in no position to threaten us. I don't make threats, but I do keep promises. I shall cause you more trouble than you bargained for. The doctor is near death. <laughs> the other two approach death. I see victory for all my friends. Fan convention is an odd and shameless thing. The popular opinion of the Sensorites is one of wonderment indeed. Fans wonder why it didn't have the common decency to get wiped along with all the stories that they feel were far more deserving of being saved. A harsh criticism indeed when it comes from the same people who celebrate the return of a single episode of Underwater Menace. Wishing that this story would have been better remembered if it wasn't around at all, is the sort of warped logic that gives Doctor Who fans a bad name. January 2012, this story that inspired such apathy comes, finally, to our DVD collections. The story itself has the sort of classic Star Trek feel we seldom get in Doctor Who. We encounter an alien race that is so identical to each other as to only tell themselves apart by the clothes they wear. They also have a fundamental fear of the dark and a penchant for poisoning their own water supplies. A convoluted plot, starting on an apparently deserted earth vessel with an unconscious crew all living in fear of the sensorites. Think Ood, but without the charm, and ending up on the planet's sense sphere, complete with its destructive internal politics. Classic moments such as the TARDIS crew finally coming together as a family in the opening moments, the looming sense right reveal at the end of part one, or even the loss of the lock from the TARDIS itself all echo through our collective unconscious to a greater extent than we would first assume. This story is so much more than a fledgling show finding its feet. One of the story's strengths is the performances of the cast, with the regulars shining through every scene. Caroline Foreman gets to expand her character with the first use of Gallifreyan psychic powers. Rarely in classic Doctor Who have both sides in a conflict so richly been depicted, and yet it's still largely ignored by fandom. So celebrate the low-budget triumph that is the Sensorites, and smile when the Tenth Doctor mentions the sense fear. The fact that this story still exists is something to be celebrated, and the fact that so much better than you ever gave it credit for must be celebrated too. Extras. Well, an odd collection of documentaries accompany the usual suspects of commentary. That's with William Russell, Carolyn Ford, Joe Gregg, Martin Huntley, Giles Pipps, Frank Cox, Raymond Cusack, all moderated by MC Toby. You've got Infotex and, of course, PDFs. However, the shining star in the world of documentaries has to be the Peter R. Newman documentary, again hosted by Toby Haydock. Peter R. Newman, the writer of this story, is largely, well, massively unknown. Internet searches reveal very little, and fandom is myths, and that's all. So some research was done, most of it apparently on camera. It's recorded as if live, apparently, and it's a lovely little documentary. We don't know anything about this man, and we learn a lot. It's a wonderful moment of fandom. The second documentary 
The second documentary is a very pleasant talking head interview with Clive, friend of McCoy, Doig, in which he talks about his time as a vision mixer on early Doctor Who. There's also mention of the mysterious voices heard in the background, of, in the short, secret voices of the sense sphere. As I said, it's a marvellous little DVD, well worth experiencing. Don't listen to the hype. Judge for yourself. Be seeing you. You have been listening to the Tin Dog Podcast. Doctor Who and its associated shows are all trademark of the BBC. No infringement is intended. Contact us at tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk